Hello. Hello, people out there in Twitchland. How are you this morning? You doing well? Everybody doing well? Is the chat room working? I don't know. Hello. Hello. There. I typed something in the chat. What's going on? There we go. Let me get some people typing. Wow. Good morning to you, fine people. What's going on? Rushing over because I got an email. Good job. At least uh, Twitch does something right sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I can't help it if uh, they're not. Their mobile app sucks. Sorry. Send uh, emails to Twitch support. Uh, but the people that I'm probably referring to can't aren't watching right now because they're having problems watching on mobile. Not my fault. It's not like I can. I don't think I can disable. I don't. I don't think I can disable uh, broadcast in mobile. That'd be kind of silly. Oh my god. Do people not know how to read the chat? Uh, Dragon, uh, if you're referring to the, uh, the Plant Side 2 thing, we fixed it last night on stream. Um, just by going into full screen windowed. Oh my god. There we go. Somebody's on mobile with it. There, there, it's working. It's working! Yeah, it's kind of silly. I don't know what the issue was there, Dragon, but uh, hey, it worked. It fixed. It was fixed. Thank you for uh, looking that up. Appreciate it. Something to do. So yeah, we're uh, doing some uh, Clash of Clans. I look mad. I'm angry. I'm angry this morning. You get random notifications about streams that happened 20 hours ago, really? That sucks. I'm angry. No, I'm not angry. What? It's my. Mo I'm just. You know what? I'm angry because I haven't had my coffee yet. That's probably why. This is early in the morning for me, man. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been getting as much sleep as I should be getting. So. <sighs> I don't know. Max pain three. Why not stream so early? Whatever. It's fine. Thought I'd, uh, you know, chill with you guys. I mean, you don't have to be here if you don't want to, right? So yeah, we're going to do some uh, Clash of Clans. <clears throat> um, yeah, cool walls, huh? What do you think? Level 7? Booyah! Level 7 walls, all fully upgraded for Town Hall 7. Ugh. Origins!
What time is it for me now? It's like 9.30 a.m. Yeah, my boost is gonna end, uh, yeah, but, uh, one hour, 51 minutes. My pants are doing just fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, how would I know, Prodigy? I have no idea. No idea. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, off you are. Uh... Let me start recording. Uh, watch my videos, the last. <laughs> How long did it take me? Uh, I started on, what, June 17th? Uh, June? No, um, no. Uh, June 17th, I started playing Clash of Clans. That's when, wow, that's it. It might have been the day before. That's when I put the first, no, it was that day, I think. That's when I put the first uh, video out. Oh, so yeah. Ugh. Yeah, Clash of Clans is a free to play. Although it's a pay to win, so. Hyper doesn't have an eye device. He doesn't like Apple. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a de defense one that I lost. I haven't even watched it. But this guy's like totally over leveled. And uh, he got me 100%, so he used everything. And it was a, um, it was a revenge, it was a revenge attack, so. Uh, well, Dark Elixir, I can upgrade this dude with Dark Elixir, my Barbarian King. And um, you can create dark troops, like these guys. Which I'm not going to do. The minions and the hog riders. It's not really difficult to get. Uh, that's why I've been I've been uh, I've been mining or farming, raiding for uh, dark elixir. Okay, so I'm gonna start recording since everybody's seems like the people who are gonna be here are, are gonna be here or are here. Okay, so click on down hall t or yeah, town hall, down hall, town hall. Now, there, town hall. Oh, what's up, guys? Spotter here. Sorry for no uh, update on Clash of Clans yesterday. I was too busy raiding, man. But uh, it should have been recording. What's wrong with me? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, just an update on my base. I don't know if the, the last video, if I had all my walls updated, upgraded or not. But uh, they are, and I have, look at the lone wall over here. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm out here all by myself. Why don't you attach me to the rest of the walls? You're crazy. Um, well, I don't really have a spot for you, bud. So you're going to have to wait until Town Hall 8 when I get 50 more walls. And then there will be you. And 50 additional level 1 walls that uh, are going to be lonely for a little while. And uh, it's pretty crazy because Town Hall 8, the uh, upgrade per wall is half a million gold. Isn't that insane? I mean, it goes up, I think 4 million is the level, is it level 11 walls that are 4 million? Um, and I have these two trees in my, uh, yeah, I always hate getting trees in my base. But um, I got a, a few, uh, I guess a few replays to go through. I pre-recorded them. But uh, we're going to do some stuff live here, and uh, I mentioned the other day that I was going to do some trophy hunting and uh, trying to build up uh, to as many trophies as I can. So I'm, I'm at 1513. I was just over 1600, so I am in uh, gold league number two, which is 1600 to 1799. You get a uh, loot bonus of 5700 apiece. No dark elixir yet, unfortunately. I think you have to be in, uh, in crystal or whatever it is, the next level up in order to get uh, some Dark Elixir with your successful raids. But uh, yeah, so I've been doing some Town Hall sniping, but I've also been 
uh, trying to get Dark Elixir because, again, Town Hall 7, you can build your Dark Elixir storage, you can get your Barbarian King, but you can't get the Dark Elixir drill until Town Hall 8. Supercell, man, they, they, they know what they're doing. They know how to get you to spend money because people would uh, really gem it here on Town Hall 7 in order to get that Dark Elixir for their Barbarian King, etc. And I did that without purchasing gems, but just the gems that I've been getting from the achievements. So um, so I've been raiding to get that Dark Elixir. So I've, it's sort of twofold. Uh, I know I've do, been doing a trophy push uh, as well as, uh, and we're going to go to attack here, a trophy push as well as a Dark Elixir push. And sometimes they don't really, uh, you know, they're not really... Uh, compatible, right? Um, so here's an example where it is compatible. Okay, so this guy, uh, his town hall is way way down here. So what I'm gonna do? Good thing live. This is like the first base that I, I got live. Uh, so his town hall is down here. So I'm just gonna bring. All right, six archers in. Now the reason why I put him as far away as possible is so that one that barbarian king. Uh, has a less chance of noticing him. You know, he has that ring around him of, of, of when he's going to be alerted, right? It's fairly large, so you want to be as far away as possible from him. The second thing is that uh, guys, a lot of guys will put hidden Teslas in around the um, around the uh, the town hall when it's sitting like this outside their base. And the thing is, a lot of times they'll place it so that it's too far away to detect when I when I put my um, my archers as far away as I am right now. So I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna get my one star, and then I'm gonna go for some of his dark elixirs. So I'm going to go and attack um, his drills to see how much he has in his drills. So we can do that right now. Oops. So I put some giants in just so they get attacked, and then I'm going to bring in three wall breakers. And then bring in uh, some goblins here. Oops. Goblins. Okay. It's probably a few too many goblins, but it doesn't matter. All I'm after right now is the Dark Alexa, right? Okay, and I'm going to go after this other one up here. And of course, my goblins are going to go after the... There we go. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, I got some of his Dark Elixir. Now, usually I look for bases that have a higher Dark Elixir count um, than, than what this base had. But regardless, it's good because it's, you know, this, this single base that came up. I could snipe his Town Hall. And then I'll always have my, my Lightning Spells. My Lightning Spells, I mean, they're 20,000 gold each. Uh, but I, I don't need gold. I don't really need a whole lot of gold. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop two on there. And you see, from the 1700, I end up getting... Uh, about 500, 500 additional Dark Elixir, and that's it. I mean, I want to use as few troops as possible, so I've attacked his drills, which potentially, you know, you get 50%, I think 50% off the drills still with the Dark Elixir. You only get 5% from the um, from the uh, the storage, but then I also have a Town Hall bonus. I mean, I'm at Town Hall level 7, he's at Town Hall level 9, so I do get uh, a significant bonus on my resources. So I'm just going to end the battle here because I don't need to do anything else. And uh, what do I end up with? So I end up with 1163 Dark Elixir. And I've recovered the gold that I've used. The gold that I've used for uh, attacking that Dark Elixir storage. Again, 40,000. Normally, I I'd like to have three uh, lightning spells. And that would be 60,000. And I got 113,000 back, so I'm still good. Plus the 173,000 Elixir, and it's the 1163 Dark Elixir that I'm really after. Um, and, and I'm still moving up in trophies, so that, that's a very good base. Uh, surprising that it actually came up first. So, uh, I am currently upgrading the Barbarian King to level 3. He's level 2 right now. Uh, level 2 was 12,500 Dark Elixir. Level 3 was 15,000. Level 4 is 17,005. So I have to collect... More Dark Elixir. I got almost 5,000 now, so I still have another 12.5 or 12.6 to uh, to collect in order to upgrade him to level, uh, th uh, what, 4? And then 5, I think, is the last one. You can actually upgrade him on Town Hall 7, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's sort of the focus. It's twofold. One is to get those trophies and try and build up my rank. And 
it sort of goes hand in hand to a degree because the higher rank and trophies I am, uh, when I go to attack, matchmaking is going to put me against better bases, and the better bases are generally, you know, the chances of them having more Dark Elixir and then being a higher Town Hall level so they have Dark Elixir drills and dark and more Dark Elixir storage, uh, then that benefits me because then I can attack them and steal a lot of that Dark Elixir for upgrading my Barbarian King. I won't use Dark Elixir on any troops uh, at all unless I'm maxed out on my Dark Elixir storage and I don't have any upgrades available to, to my Barbarian King or eventually my Archer Queen. Because, I mean, if I'm upgrading these guys, I mean, it benefits it benefits hugely, right? I mean, this guy, this guy's awesome. I love the Barbarian King and he's awesome for bringing in two, uh, two attacks um, and he's not that bad on, uh, on helping out on defense. So I really want to level him up as much as possible and uh, every Town Hall level I'm going to attempt to do that by stealing a lot of Dark Elixir. Like I always have been doing. I've been doing uh, stealing all my resources. That's what I do. I raid and I steal, and it's awesome. Woo! Um, so yeah, with the trophy levels, I mean, uh, some people uh, were mentioning on Twitter. Um, you know, it's not possible. People that uh, are three thousand plus trophies, they all gem, and I know. See, there's. You know the top guys, the the guys that are in the top two hundred. I mean, I, I'd love, and I tweeted this out yesterday. I'd love uh, Supercell to actually release information on the average money spent by the top two hundred players, and I think it would be pretty ridiculous. And but it's in their best interest, right? I mean, you've got the top guy who's been who was the top guy. He was the first to w whatever get to four thousand trophies. But the thing is, the guy spent thousands and thousands of dollars to get there, but. You know, Supercell is going to promote that because they want people to see. They want viewers to see people spending all kinds of money. Hey, yeah, it's awesome. Spend all kinds of money. You're going to be in the top levels, top ranks of, of Clash of Clans. But no, I don't want... No, no, no. That's not what we're doing. We want to do this. We want to do this with spending, you know... Again, it's a great game. You want to support the developers, and I have. I put 30 bucks into this game. I mean, I spend 60 bucks on AAA titles that have, you know, budgets that are probably significantly higher than the budget on this game. So I'm pretty sure that 30, giving $30 back to the devs for the entertainment value that I'm getting out of Clash of Clans is, is a pretty fair trade at this point. So I'm not going to put any more money into it. Um... I want to build up and get to that higher trophy level and show you you guys, you guys that are watching, um, that I'm doing it without gemming everything. Yes, I'm using the gems. I mean, you do get some. You clear out these, these trees over here. You're going to get gems from them. You uh, do your achievements, and I've completed quite a few of them. Um, you get bonus gems, and that's what I've been using. You know, that's what I used when, when I first got my Barbarian King. I gemmed the 10,000 Dark Elixir in order to, to first get the Barbarian King. But but that's it. That's all I'm going to spend. Um, and, you know, somebody asked me, well, you know, what if you got sponsored and the sponsor w would buy you gems? And I'm like, then I wouldn't I wouldn't sp get sponsored. I, I don't want a sponsor like that. I, I wouldn't want to be sponsored and just buy my way to higher levels uh, because I don't really think that's the right way to go. Uh, now, if somebody wanted to, let's say, give you know, provide the ability for me to give you guys gems, that, I would be all over that. Like, if I could give you, hey, we run a contest in the channel and I can give you gems, then, uh, then I'd be all over that. But, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not at that point, so <laughs> maybe we never will be. But regardless, we're bringing you, uh, some entertainment and hopefully, uh, some good stuff here on showing you what can be done without having to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to, to get to that top level. Okay, so I got a couple of replays that I pre-recorded. Again, uh, they're pretty similar to what we just did. Uh, and one of them is my largest loot haul to date. Uh, I post The other video I posted the other day, I was just under, just shy of a million. Well, I hit I hit over a million. And I could have had a lot more if, um, if I had uh, the right troops. But uh, we'll show a few replays in a second here. <laughs> what was deep? <laughs> what was deep? Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 
somebody said about uh, the iTunes uh, vouchers for gems. Yeah, I mean, if if somebody wants to give away, you know, give me vouchers to give to you guys, that would be awesome. That that's the only way I do it. That's the only way I do it. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get sponsored and spend money on my own base. I would just, I would just uh, give you guys gems. I wouldn't use it myself. You're deep. It's not subs only. <laughs> well, honestly, it just bugs me, and I know I know why they do it, but it just bugs me that the guy who gemmed his way to the top, you know, all he did was spend money. All he did was spend money to get there. Uh, you know, obviously, it may take a little skill on the attacking side, but really, I mean, he spent his way to get there. And obviously Supercell is going to promote the guy because they, they're promoting a dude who is showing you that you need to spend money in order to get to the top. And that's what they want because that benefits them because people see that. They're like, oh, I'm going to spend money too because I want to be in the top 200, um, which I think is crap, but uh, whatever. I, I don't uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I know I, I understand I understand why they do it. I don't really like pay to win scenarios. Um, oh, I forgot to train my troops. I don't really like pay to win scenarios, but uh, it's still a good game, and it's still you don't have to pay. You know, you can still get there. It's just going to take you significantly longer, right? So that's the only problem. Um, so I need. Uh, Six six uh, wall breakers and six archers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the rest uh, goblins, right? So we need uh, 50 more. So uh, 25. So 12. So 14. 14, and then 12 here. So we have 13, 13, 13, 13. There. All right, we got 200 troops. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I haven't upgraded my rage spells. Uh, the thing is, I haven't really needed them. I think, um, like, what I want to do eventually is do, start doing, um, dragon and or balloon raids. And once I do that, then I'll start using my rage. But I want to get it up to level two. Uh, the reason why I'm using lightning spells right now is in order to get to that dark elixir, which is usually in the middle of the base. Yes, we are going to play uh, Saints Row 4. Uh, Hyper and I will be playing Saints Row 4. Uh, it's 4 million and 1 because technically your town hall is capable of storing 1,000 gold and 1,000 elixir. So that's why it's uh, 4 million 1,000. No, upgrading troops means they're they're more durable. I mean, if you look at uh, the stats, right? Like if I upgrade this guy, I mean, you're adding four damage per second, so it's fourteen plus four. Hit, you're adding thirteen hit points, and it's costing a little bit more to train him, right? So you're upgrading the um, your health and your damage capability of your units, not necessarily the training speed. Technically, you'd think it would take longer to train. Yeah, we played Plant Side 2 last night. We're going to play it uh, tonight with uh, subscribers. Okay, so uh, I do have some pre recorded stuff, so I'm going to put that in the screen here. Okay. Because I want to record.
Okay, so let's uh, make it like this. Make it like this. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do. We're, I'm just gonna record some stuff for these uh, for this replay here. These replays. All right, so here's my highest resource uh, grab or raid from ZachFab. You can see we're well over, or just a little bit over, a million resources. And this guy, when I went to this base, and unfortunately the replay won't show it, but when I go, when I went to this base, I think it was like two and a half million uh, in total resources with uh, gold and uh, the elixir and the dark elixir combined. And I obviously didn't have the the units to be able to take out the entirety of the base. But I went in there, again, focus being on as much as possible the Dark Elixir. But, I mean, there was so much, so many resources available that it was just ridiculous. Um, I don't think I had my uh, Barbarian King available, so I couldn't bring him in. But I do think I had some spells. So I sent some Wall Breakers in on the right-hand side to go after the uh, the Gold Mines. And, uh, yeah, I, that whole top portion of the base, that top left portion of the base, was totally untouched. And you can see how many resources I ended up with, over a million. And I kind of uh, stupidly sent in my goblins to try and break through that, that center, par uh, center portion of the base. Uh, because my, my wall breakers didn't make it in there. But that's kind of silly, because they just get taken out like crazy, with especially with the mortars. So that was well over... Like I said, a million, a million combined resources. So we're going to take a look at uh, a couple more. Again, trying to get that Dark Elixir. You can see the 922 and the 1695 uh, grabs. So here's another one. And again, this one ends up being really, really close. Uh, at first, I was going after the Dark Elixir uh, um, drills. There's one here on the bottom, and then I go after that one on the top which is unprotected, the one on the, the bottom, um, there was, uh, it was behind a wall, and there were actually two up in the top right, so one behind the wall and one not, and there's the Barbarian King, uh, he was available, but you know, he likes to sleep, every time I, I bring him into a, a, a battle, he's got to sleep afterwards for some reason, no, I know, <laughs> he's got to heal, that's his way to heal, so uh, I took out the Dark Elixir Drills, and again, I'm going to use my lightning spells, however many I have avail available, one, two, or three, depending to attack the um, the uh, storage, the Dark Elixir storage. Then I'm thinking, wait a minute, I mean, I can I can still win this. Oh, that was his, uh... sorry, that was his Barbarian King. Oops. Um, I thought I brought my Barbarian King in, but that was his. That's what I get for not paying attention. So uh, he still has his Town Hall there, right in the bottom corner. So I send in some uh, my my archers and my giants to distract the uh, the barbarian king, and I just just get the town hall so that I do get the one star, and uh, instead of losing trophies, so I actually gain trophies on that one. All right, so I'm just uh, rebuilding or re um, retraining, I guess, or, or respelling my lightning spells, and we're gonna show this last one against Bryson, where I get 1695 dark elixir. Again, the focus being both on the uh, the trophy count uh, as well as the uh, the dark elixir. So here, oh yeah, and he's got his town hall again. He's got his town hall on the outside of his base, so we should be good for trophies. And that's why I like to see again the first one that we did uh, at the beginning of the video, the first attack we did, which was awesome. You know, his town hall outside the base, plus he had a significant amount of dark elixir, so it's it's a bonus on both sides. Um, so I'm sending in everything po as possible to uh, to get his Dark Elixir and whatever whatever I can accumulate. And then I'm going to send in the archers to take out the Town Hall. And then if I have any lightning spells, we'll do the Dark Elixir storage. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, so I'm up to, you know, like I said, I was up over 1,600 trophies. I'm down, back down to 1,520. And the thing is, when you're doing a lot of these attacks, uh, you get revenge attacks. That's what, uh, that's what happened, and I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll show you a replay of one of the revenge attacks from uh, last night um, because I, I end up losing a significant number, number of trophies. Um, and I think it's because 
the higher you go with trophies, let's say I attack somebody when I was down at about 1,200. If I then proceed up to 1,500 and the guy revenge attacks me, and because I'm, I'm typically attacking um, higher level bases, especially when I'm sniping the town halls, uh, I get these guys that revenge attack, and they're much higher level. And the, the attack that happened on me, the defense, I mean, he had level 6 troops. So he basically rolled right over me, and I lost. I ended up losing a lot of trophies. So we'll cover that uh, tomorrow along with some other stuff. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're getting there. I know it's going to take longer because we're not gemming, but hey, that's what we're going to do, right? And we're going to get up. We'll, we'll get up to 3,000 trophies without gemming stuff every single day or every week. All right? Leave a comment uh, about what you think, and um, we'll get back to you again tomorrow. All right? Thanks, guys. Spider out. There we go. Do, do, do. So what do you think? I'm going to bring in that video. And... Sync it up.